Retro Requiem. Hello and welcome to Retro Requiem and another segment of our trailer park. And today we are breaking down the newest, the newly released trailer for Lord of the Rings: Shadow of Mordor. Andrew Wagner, you are a huge Lord of the Rings fan, so I'll throw it to you first. What do you think of this trailer? Um, I mean, it definitely looks like a ripped off uh, Assassin's Creed, but I'm excited for it because I like Assassin's Creed and I love Lord of the Rings. Mm -hmm. So. <laughs> If it's done right, it could be really fun. But if it's done wrong, like most Lord of the Rings games, then it's gonna be boring. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I definitely, I think, because right here they're uh, focusing on their like rune system and how they can use the runes to upgrade your weapons and stuff. Mm -hmm. I think that's a cool variation for them, like going forward. Um, whenever you're like accused of ripping off a game. Like, they are accused of being ripped off, or ripping off Assassin's Creed. It's good to have things that set yourself apart. Mm -hmm. And so, if this game has, like, RPG elements going forward, then obviously that's something Assassin's Creed doesn't have. So, like, it would be really good for it going forward, I think. I mean, they definitely have a lot of stuff that Assassin's Creed kind of doesn't. Oh, yeah. But, definitely. like, the core gameplay is definitely Assassin's Creed. Yeah. Even, like, uh, we'll see in a little bit, but, like, the vision is, like, completely and totally ripped off. It's Like, everything evil. else. Yeah, it's basically you could, you, could, you could, like, say, oh, like, the counter system, other people would do it, so it's, like, not a big deal. Also, I love the violence in this game. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm so happy you can actually chop off a guy's head. I know. And, like, it looks good. It looks I mean, cool. I think you could, you could easily... Look at that. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you could dismember people in um, War of the North as well, mm -hmm. but it never looked that graphic. It kind of yeah. looked more like... PG thirteen hmm. disbody like memberment. Mm -hmm. What do you think, Colin? <sighs> I I think I went on a tirade about this game on the previous. Well, I think it was a um, game review or whatever, and I, I'm not going to repeat myself here. But um, suffice it to say, I I'm not looking forward to this game. This just looks so bland and uninteresting to me. It um it, and of course Monolith um. The studios making this made some of my favorite games and Fear and Condemned, and now they're making, I guess, whoever it is is putting them on the Lord of the Rings duty now, and I'm just, I'm just not feeling this, man. It just, it, it just, I, and I'll admit that the rune system looks interesting. The, the system where you're, like, hunting down chieftains and stuff, and you can send messages or whatever, and that looks, it's, it's, yeah, that's, that's cool. And it's definitely not something Assassin's Creed is doing. So it looks like an interesting kind of, um, element of depth that they're putting in this game, but overall, as a Lord of the Rings fan and as a fan of the studio, I'm just, I just, I don't see it, man. I, I'm, I'm just. Uh, but just, you know what? Think they did Fear, which is a good game. Yeah. They did Condemn, which is a good game. Yeah. Fear Two was okay. I liked Fear Two. Fear Three sucked. They didn't do Fear. Okay, 3. good. Good. <laughs> Condemn Two was okay. I like Condemn. It was eh. Yeah, I liked it more than. So that. they have a good record with their first game of a series. So, this Gar game could be actually really they good. They did Guardians of Middle-Earth, too. Well, well, the hell they did it. Yeah, they did. Uh, I mean, that's... We just talked about that game. That, that game sucks. That, I mean, that, if you like MOBAs, people might like it. We all hate them, pretty much, so... Is what? This is uh, Warner Brothers Studio or something? Yeah. Um, or Warner Brothers... Yeah, that's the, I'm not sure who the... I guess the publisher is Warner Brothers. Yeah. I guess they're a publisher. So I guess, the, I mean, that's what too many... Pub EA does this a lot, where they'll take a really talented developer... And they'll stick them on one of their big name franchises that they have, and basically shoehorn them into a. And that's where this whole Assassin's Creed thing has come from, where it's just like, hey, we have a Lord of the Rings property. Let's make an Assassin's Creed game set in, in Middle Earth. Let's just do that whole thing. And just what it's, if it just feels cheap and and uh, exploitative to me. The combat does look really good though. The what? The combat, oh, the, yeah, the, the combat, combat looks really good. I, I would. I, I'm not gonna say that it won't be. Uh, the controls won't feel smooth. Looking at this, the graphics look pretty good, but that's not enough to to sell me on this. Uh, we haven't yeah. seen anything about the story yet, so you know. Well, I, and that would no. Actually, he dies, that's... and he comes becomes revived by a wraith, and he possesses two person like he has he has his physical Just, form and then a wraith yeah. form it sounds so cliched and, and it's like the old like you know he's a good guy but he's a dark guy he's got he's got some sort of thing that's going on with him like a, um it just it no it's basically a thing it, of revenge because like the one warlord i don't know what it is or warlord basically killed him and his family and stuff like that oh are you saying it's, it's really him and, and his yeah. family it's pretty much a revenge story it yeah. takes the, the least <sighs> okay, interesting yeah 
part of the Lord of the Rings universe, which is Mordor and orcs. It's just that they're, yeah. they're it's Mordor. It's a shitty place with volcanoes and whatever and rocks and ruins and stuff like that. <laughs> Uh, the Lord Middle Earth has like lush forests and and you know create like ruins and all this interesting like you know dwarvish mines and stuff and no they're just going to Mordor and you're killing the the easiest enemy to hate in like fantasy history which are just orcs which are just like you know disgusting filthy creatures mm-hmm. so yeah you know who cares if we slaughter a whole bunch of them there's just there's nothing interesting to it it's just bland and and cheap and um this game i think go ahead Andrew. I, I was just gonna say i would love to see a game or like a game or a book or a movie or something that would further J.R.R. tolkien's um look and go east actually follow the blue wizards that went east and that'd see what actually happened over there yeah. i think that'd be a really interesting and new concept but again you have to have a really good writer behind that because yeah. to match low lord of the rings quality yeah and, like, I feel like if someone tried to do that, it would just be bad. Well, Tolkien always, the way he framed his stories with the, this was actually a long-lost place on Earth. And he just, like, found the manuscripts and translated them. So, I mean, you know, all you need to say is, I'm another writer who found transcripts from Middle <laughs> Earth or whatever, and here's my, yeah. So, I mean, you know, if you use his characters and stuff and and uh, go off that, I think you can make something really interesting, uh, which this game does not look to be. Yeah. Going forward, there's definitely a borderline game for me. Who knows? Maybe he'll explore more of Middle Earth than just Mordor. No, I, it's not. <laughs> it's, um, it, it's all Mordor. Yeah. It's open world Mordor, but it's Mordor, which basically means, oh, look at that place over there. It looks like that place over there. Yeah. Okay. Well, then f*** this game, too. <laughs> um, this is definitely a game I'll pick up later, especially in the fall. I'm going to have no life, so I'll buy it for like 20 bucks. Oh, cool. Yep. There in the fall, go. I have to really narrow down my games that I want <laughs> like to two or three because I won't have any free time ah uh, I will never play this game <laughs> I will <laughs> well this is going to do it for our trailer park segment remember to like us on Facebook follow us on Twitter and subscribe to our YouTube page to see more trailer parks and keep up the date with this game in the future not right away though as we heard Andrew Agnes say watchwebcam.com <laughs>